Hey there, I was wondering, have you ever heard this piece? Yeah, it's Johann Sebastian Bach's first prelude from the Well-Tempered Clavier. It's a great piece for people without a lot of piano skills, like me. I like the piece. It's kind of cool. Well, it's very cool. I like to hear it with different instruments. Piano is great, but after a while, piano just gets, you know, a little redundant, a little boring. I wonder what it would sound like on a Rhodes keyboard. Well, that's interesting. Because the phrases repeat themselves, I wonder what it would sound like if I used a different instrument. Huh. What's it going to sound like on a rockabilly guitar? Could we pair instruments? Hi there, my name is Dr. Mark and I want to introduce you to my musical puzzles. Just like any puzzle, a musical puzzle is something that you put together and what kids are going to put together, what you can put together are pieces that you know from the standard repertoire. And the difference is that you can orchestrate your piece any way that you like. Each puzzle follows the sequence of the piece from beginning to end. The difference is you can orchestrate the piece with the sounds provided. You don't have to stick with traditional instrumentation. You can experiment. You can add an oboe where there should be a piano. You can add a saxophone when there might have been a guitar. It's up to the child. It's up to you to determine how you want the piece to sound. It's going to follow the same structure, the same organization, the same everything, the same melody, the same melodic structure, the same, the same, the same. The difference is the timbre the sound of the instruments you choose. That's the fun of these musical puzzles. You have choices, and your choices will determine how the puzzle looks, how the puzzle sounds. Endless choices, endless possibilities. <laughs> this is easier to imagine in visual art. Let's put on our visual art hat and think about Claude Monet. He painted a cathedral in Rouen. He painted it not once, not twice, not thrice, but 30 times, 30 individual times, when one would have sufficed. And yet each one of those has a slightly different color based on the time of the day depending on what time of the day and the color and the lighting that was around him. The same can be said for traditional pieces in music. We can paint different instruments into the melodic and harmonic structure of existing pieces. And that's what my musical puzzles will do for you and your children. 
There's a lot more to be said. I just wanted to say this to get you excited about what you can do. Join me. And away we go.